hits or fueling gains on Wall Street. Yeah, it was green across the board again yesterday with the Dow climbing about 24 points. And there's a huge change coming to the country's criminal justice system. Yeah, Maribel is joining us live from the NASDAQ market site in New York with this big decision. Maribel, good morning. Hey, good morning, Owen and Amy. Well, the U.S. Department of Justice says it plans to stop using private prisons. After an extensive review process, the DOJ says private prisons aren't as safe or as well run as government correctional facilities. Thursday's announcement only impacts the nearly 200,000 inmates in federal prisons. It's actually a small portion of America's 2.2 million incarcerated adult prisoners. The stocks of two of the largest private prison operators fell dramatically yesterday. All right, if you're heading to Pittsburgh anytime soon, keep your eyes peeled for an Uber self-driving taxi. The tech startup says it's putting about 100 autonomous Volvo SUVs on the streets of Pittsburgh as early as this month. It marks the first time that commuters can hail a ride in a driverless car. I don't know about this. If you're excited about riding solo, I'm going to tell you this. Two Uber employees will be sitting in the front seat of each vehicle. Owen and Amy, yeah. what do you guys think? Well, that's ready to give up driving at 2 a.m.? <laughs> I would, honestly, but that's what did it for me, the fact that there's an actual <laughs> human because this is a testing process. That's I've got it. high hopes for down the road, but during the testing process, you got to have a human. Sort of like there. the student driver Talk vehicle where they got a break somewhere over. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thanks, Maribel. Have a good weekend. All right. Now to a